throughout the course of this project, I give myself carpal tunnel. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. I have been doing this shit for years and not once has it ever hurt like this. I'm not even joking. This is what I get for coding and then going directly into gaming, which meant that I was on the computer for like 10 hours a day. So was it my fault? Maybe. Anyway, you're here for the project. This is the second one I think is gonna be easy to build. And we'll see just how easy it went. <laughs> I'll see you at the outro. It's Tuesday. I gave myself two weeks to finish this project and all I have is this. So we're gonna lock in, I think. I don't know, man. Can I finish this in four days? Did y'all hear that firework? That kind of felt like a sign. First locked in task, finish the nav. Because believe it or not, at this point in time, I had already been working on this project for a week and I still hadn't finished the freaking nav. I was still on the drop down menu and I just couldn't figure out how to make it do a smooth drop down. Eventually, I got it all sorted out and then I started working on the footer. But once I was working on the footer, I tried to expand the nav. The footer and the nav would go down together instead of the nav covering the footer as it opened up. And I was like, that's not how it's supposed to work. So I had to figure out how to fix that. And then at some point in between doing all that, I broke the nav. So I had to refix the nav again. Now you may be thinking, oh my God, you're making such great progress for day one. And I would be like, yeah, you know what? I am. But guess what? My first pitfall the freaking hero in this case i just had such a hard time placing everything with grid and to make matters worse i had a rotated element right and i had to place this rotated element in a grid and so every time i would write which row and which column this element belonged in it wasn't working it was so bad i genuinely had to give up for the day like i couldn't figure out how to place it 11 50 p.m i'm working on the hero the first of many components to have a grid layout me and grid used to be like this so what the hell is going on because why can't why can't i put the things all you need to do is write down where to put the things and it'll put the things there for you like it's not that hard like i even on my figma design i have a grid system and so why isn't it doing that Welcome back. It's Wednesday night. It is about to be 10 p.m. and I'm about to clock in to the React company. To the. Can I start over? I didn't even finish what I wanted to finish last night. So add that to the list of chores I have to do today. I don't know. It's not looking too good. I'm a little nervous. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> One hour in update. I'm still on the hero. Does it look like the life has left my eyes? Cause I'm getting there. Round two with the hero, here we go. This time around, I was able to place everything the way I wanted to place it, which was great because that means that I was able to do all sizes of windows, mobile to desktop, amazing. Then I said, okay, let's not work on the main content. Let me skip to near the end where I'm working on the Q&A section. This isn't gonna be so hard. I've seen Q&A sections. I've looked at accordion menus before. This looks really easy. I feel like it's very intuitive. I feel like I can do it wrong. In theory, if you've never done an accordion menu, you would think it's easy, but it's not. Eventually, I did figure out how to do the Q&A section, but I'm going to let real me tell y'all how that went because it was a moment. Welcome back. It's Thursday. It's 11.22. I'm going to take a little eight minute break because I've been working. I've been working, guys. I've been working. Um, You can't really tell, though. Here's, here's why it took so long, though. You look at it and you're like, oh, that's easy. It's just a Q&A section. It's literally just text. What's so difficult about it? This is what's difficult about it if you've never done it before. How do you make it look like an accordion where you have the question and then you click on the question and it goes and then you get the answer and then you close the question and it goes back to this. How do you do that? Hmm? Hmm? You ever think about that? No. Honestly, it wasn't even that hard. I'm just, I don't have a lot of practice with transitions and transformations so that's why it was really difficult for me second thing i had to do i have these cute little stickers that i have on the website that it's just there for decoration but the thing is it follows the q a and so if it expands the point is the stickers stick to the same place but it's also like moving and you might be like girl just put them on the page yeah i tried that 
I opened up a question, so it went like this, and so the whole thing expanded, and my stickers, they went like this, instead of going like this. So then I said, oh, y'all hate me so bad. And you would think, oh, just use position sticky. I would be like, yeah, you're right. And then I would be like, no, you're wrong, because I did try that, and it just, it stuck to, to the browser, and I said, no, that's not it, that's not it. And so then you would say, oh, just use parent, relative, child, absolute. And I say, yes, yes, that makes sense. You're making sense. And so I did that. And I said, wow, wow. My browser was like this. And I said, wow, this, this works so good. I opened it up and I said, wow, wow, it's sticking. It's, it's actually working. And then I said, let me open the questions. Phew. It didn't work. Um, but I was halfway there, and so all I had to figure out was how to track the the height of the element. And I said, okay, how do I do that? I've seen tr people track dimensions of things before, so I know it's possible. I had to look up how to do that. And they were like, you have to use a use effect. And I said, oh, I used the use effect. I, I, put, it, I put it all together, put it all together. And I said, please, please. Please, here, here are the stickers. This is the, the thing, right? This is it, expanding. Opened a question. Phew. It works. It works. So I hope that when you see me showcase this at the end of the video, you appreciate how much work I put into this specific part only. I finish tomorrow when I work on this it shouldn't take so long question mark <laughs> oh. is my camera dirty is it my camera at the end of the day it's actually quite serious it's not funny is it <laughs> who told me I could do this who told me I could code the main portion of my site in a day? Best case scenario. Best, what? Best case scenario. Best case scenario. Best case scenario. I don't know why I couldn't say that. I cannot spend another week on this. I have to finish this before Wednesday. That's my deadline. If I don't finish it by Wednesday, then I have to like kill my- Hey guys, it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to put in the Google Maps and I need to route everything with React Router. Hey, it's Thursday. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought this project is actually going to take three weeks? And you might be thinking, girl, what happened to the update you said you were going to do on the maps? Don't even talk to me about that right now. It went so bad. I, I couldn't even film anything. It was so bad. I stayed awake until 3 a.m. trying to solve this. And to make matters worse, I was gonna watch a volleyball game at 5.30 a.m. So I said, oh, I'm gonna fall asleep early. I'm gonna get this map done early and then I'm gonna fall asleep early and then I'm gonna have enough time to wake up. I fell asleep at three, two hour nap, watched the game. Game went horribly, by the way. So I fell back asleep during the second set because I said, I'm not watching this, I can't. Here was the situation. Put the map on the website. That part was easy. Second step, 
put a marker on the map, which is where I failed the first time I attempted this. Figured it out. You needed a map ID. Who knew you needed two different types of keys this time around? Figured it out. I put markers on the map, multiple markers. Dare I say it? Third step, when you click on a marker, it should give you a little pop-up window, you know, where it's like, this is this place, blah, 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 and then there's like a link or whatever. I couldn't figure out the info window for the life of me. That was like, I had everything done. I just, I couldn't make info windows. And that's like the most important part because why would I have a bunch of markers on a map if you can't even click on the marker? So it pissed me off. I couldn't figure it out. And the way you're supposed to do it is you have a reference and you link that reference to the info window. After like an hour of trying without the first reference and now using just a reference for the info window, I straight up Googled, I said, can you do this with multiple markers? And Google straight up said, we're still working on that. You actually can't use a reference for multiple markers. And I said, you're joking. I said, wow, let me put my ass to bed. Me again with the final coding update. At this point in time, I was done with the whole thing. Everything was over. And then I remembered, oh my God, how are you supposed to get to the top if you're at the bottom? It's not like I have a home button, a home link, dare I say. How the heck am I going to do that? And then I remembered, oh my God, there's that little thing that some websites have that have a scroll to top. And I said, oh my God, I have to figure out how to do that. And surprisingly, it was one of the more easier things I figured out how to do. I did have to go on Google and Stack Overflow and be like, how do y'all do this? But I figured it out. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. It's Friday. It's actually Saturday, technically. Earlier, I did a test deploy. Guess what? My images were too big. I thought that if you just added SVG images, they would be compressed enough so that I wouldn't have an issue loading them into my website apparently that's not true so then i said oh okay my mistake i had to reconvert all of my images <laughs> that took a good hour and a half let's see how far i can get before i decide to give up for the day so did it take technically three weeks um yeah common pitfalls it took a lot longer than i thought it would i still can't do everything i think i can do i hate the google maps api i didn't have as many issues as my first project because i have a bit more feel of how everything works now i think that's it for this project very happy with it the next video will probably be a design video and then i'll have another project finished hopefully I'll see you next week.